Hello Year 6 students and families, I hope you're well. My name is Mr James Edwards and I am the Deputy Head Teacher of Framingham High School. And in this short video clip, I'm going to talk to you about my responsibilities within uh, Framingham High School. So I lead on behaviour, safeguarding and attendance, all which will <coughs> be part of uh, your young person's school at, at primary school at present. So I just want to talk to you about what that looks like at Framingham High School. So firstly, I'd like to start off with safeguarding. Now, year six students, you may know what safeguarding is. Um, you, 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 might, you might be aware of it and had information from, from your primary school about it. But ever since you've been at primary school and the nursery, safeguarding has been. And the role of safeguarding is to protect or look after you, both in school and outside of school. But there's also a wider scope with that as well. So our role is making sure that you are fully prepared for life after Fram, but also you are prepared for life outside of school as well. So what we do um, in school is we have a, a variety of different speakers, external agencies such as the police, where we'll talk about things that you need to be aware of to making sure that you're keeping, uh, keeping safe. So that might be around road safety, that might be around any drugs and, and, and alcohol, or what else you can do to keep yourself safe online as well. So we'll be covering that all the way through year 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. And there'll be some occasions where we need to liaise with your, with your parents and carers as well. But ultimately it's making sure that you are as safe as possible, not only in school, but outside of school as well. Okay, so the next element I'm going to talk about is attendance. Now, just like at primary school, attendance is really important. School isn't just about the end of year 11, you obtaining as many GCSEs as, uh, as you can and going on to your college sixth form apprenticeships. It's also about building those relationships with, with other students, and I'm sure you're all looking forward to coming up to school in September and making some, some new friends. And also the opportunity of taking on the co-curricular offer that we have. So that's the clubs at lunchtime, after school and, and, and trips. So attendance is really important. Now, young people, just like adults, there is times when we are, are, are unwell to come into school. But what we always try and say is, if you're feeling a bit groggy in the first thing in the morning, you know, try your very best to try and get into school and then we can monitor it from there. Because what we want to do is making sure that you're in school as much as possible and you're getting that education, but also you're getting those other brilliant parts of Framingham High School that I've just that I've just spoken about. Um, parents and carers, if, if your son or daughter is unwell, then please um, email the email the office and um, and they can make the appropriate coding uh, for the attendance as, as well. Linked to attendance is punctuality. Now we have a variety of methods of getting to school. Some students are, are dropped off by parents and carers, some students walk, some students cycle, and some students get the school bus or, or, or the public bus. So getting to school on time is really important because that's how we every day starts the same way with uh, with form time. Framingham will be a lot bigger school than what you're used to at your primary setting. Um, so it will take a bit of time getting used to your lessons and, and where your classes are, but we'll be all there to assist you. But what we expect after those first week or couple of weeks, once you know your timetable, once you know where your classes are and your lessons are, that you're in school, not only on time, but you're getting to those lessons on time as well. So the teacher can, can crack on with those activities and, and, and start the learning as quickly as quickly as possible. Um, please don't be worried about if you're, if you're concerned about getting lost and getting into trouble. We're there to support you um, in those first couple of weeks to make sure it's a, it's a smooth transition. The next area I want to talk about is behaviour. Behaviour looks at two strands. So we have um, sanctions where, where if, if incidents, uh, if, you, if you're not following our behaviour system, which I'll talk about shortly, and then also we have the rewards as well. So our reward system, we, um, we will record everything, any positive or negative events on our system called Bromcom, and parents and carers, you receive a notification. So it might be a notification that your child has just done really well in an English lesson and presented some really good homework or produced some fantastic classwork. So parents, carers, you'll be, you'll be notified um, with, with, with that as well. So house points are added on there, added on the system. Each term we have a celebration assembly where um, house points uh, or certificates are handed out um, to those students who have, have been achieving really well, not only in the classroom, but outside of the classroom as well. And we get gold, bronze and, um, and um, gold, bronze and, and silver and, and go from there. Each week we have um, 
a Norse voucher. So Norse is our catering supply. So you'll have um, the opportunity to uh, top two students in, in each year group will receive a voucher where you'll be able to obtain a free lunch for the, for, for the, for the following week as well. Also, each, um, each half term, we have the opportunity for students to obtain uh, pens, pencils, rulers, water bottles um, from, from, from the school um, based on how many house points that you received and you're, and you're tallying those house points up. So there's lots of opportunity for lots of rewards and, and, and how that can, can be both intrinsic and extrinsic as, uh, as well. Linked to behaviour is if students don't follow our, our behaviour system, so if they're disruptive or, or late and, and, follow, and not following homework, your class teacher will talk to you about that and speak to your parents and carers to see what we can do to, um, to, to support that as well. And all that information is on, is on our behaviour policy. So there's a, a whistle-stop tour of, of, of behaviour, safeguarding and attendance at, um, at Framingham Isle High School. You'll get more information uh, through that through assemblies as you start in, um, start in September. But we're really looking forward to seeing you all, not only on your transition days later on this half term, but when you all start in September. So really enjoy these next few weeks of your primary school and we look forward to seeing you all very soon. Thank you. Goodbye.